For the Zip Digital Network, Chad Welker here with head coach Jared Embick. And uh, coach, we just want to briefly talk about the last two games, the tie against Florida International and the uh, unfortunate loss in uh, double overtime to Butler this past weekend. Yeah, I thought Florida International, we played well. Um, you know, I think it was a missed call there for their goal that uh, put us in a difficult situation. But I think at the end of the day, we had three or four great chances to go up 2 nothing, And, you know, that's the lesson. You don't you don't put a team away. They can hang around, and then anything can happen. You know, a, a fluke goal, a good goal, a missed call. We allowed that situation to happen, and it burned us. But I think the performance was better. Um, you know, Butler, we, we went in shorthanded with a couple guys injured from FIU. Effort was awesome. I can't can't fault that. I think our attacking guys just that had to step in and play, the inexperienced guys just weren't tough enough for us on the day, strong enough on the ball. Um, at the end of the day, it could have gone either way, and to lose it with 30 seconds left, I think, is a heartbreaker. But, uh, you know, again, I think our play is improving, and now we just got to focus on, on conference. Um, when it comes to the guys like Colin Byros and uh, Daniel Strachan that are like really holding true to the midfield, just share with uh, what they're bringing to the table uh, since you since you are a little shorthanded. Yeah, I think Strachan's energy level and toughness in midfield has really helped us be a little bit more compact and gain some confidence. And then Byros has been able to, uh, you can tell now that he's he's in rhythm and he feels good about his game. He's able to move the team forward and. You know, I think his play is going to continue to get better and all this. But we just got to kind of find some consistency in the attack and, and some goals there. Now we get to move into uh, Mid-American Conference play. You get a home match tomorrow night uh, at 7 p.m. here at First Energy Stadium. Uh, Bowling Green's up first. Uh, what do we know about the Falcons? Yeah, they're having a great year. Uh, we know they beat Wisconsin. They uh, won at Northwestern. And, uh, you know, I think they have a confident team. So I think they're going to come in feeling pretty good. and. Uh, you know, they can be a difficult team to play against. We're going to have to come out. It's desperation time for us, so we got to play with a lot of purpose and determination and, you know, continue to take steps forward in our game. And then Tuesday night, Michigan State comes back to First Energy Stadium. Uh, you know, not, don't want to obviously talk too much about the past, but it is a rematch of the College Cup Final Four game. They probably have a couple things uh, that they've fixed and fine-tuned that, uh, that, that they kind of keep that in the back of their mind. Yeah, I think they'll be excited to play us. I mean, that was uh, two victories against them last year is going to be in the back of their mind. They're going to be very determined. And we're going to have to, you know, we're in a situation where we got to show up to play and bring our A game. So we're going to think both teams will be kind of desperate and playing hard, and it should be a fun game. Coach, appreciate the time. As always, best of luck in these next two. All right, thank you. For the Zip Scissor Network, Chad Welker. Of course, we want to see you at First Energy Stadium. It's a busy weekend here at the University of Akron. The men's soccer team plays Bowling Green at 7 p.m. If you cannot be here, of course, uh, you can watch on ESPN+. Have a great rest of the week, and as always, go Zips.